Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Command. I've been receiving a lot of questions about the Neon wallet, and in particular, what to do with the gas that you earn from holding NEO in the wallet. So the first question is whether or not you have to have the wallet open at all times to be able to accumulate gas. And that's one aspect that's really nice about the Neon wallet is you do not have to have the wallet open and you will continue to accumulate gas. Additionally, you don't even have to have your computer on and you will still continue to accumulate. So here um, you can see I've been holding NEO for a while and I have accumulated a, a small amount of gas. Um, and you can always go in here and claim more. So you can do this every five minutes. It says waiting for transaction to clear um, and gives you updates when you do this. There's no advantage to claiming every five minutes. You don't have to continuously claim it. It will just continue to build up um, until, you, um, until you actually claim it. So once you, once you have um, this new gas in your wallet, what can you actually do with it? So one thing, the, the actual reason for gas is to power transactions of NEO on the network. But as you get more and more gas, um, this gas actually has value. So let's go over here to coin market cap and you can see that gas is currently sitting at number 24. So one gas is worth $28.40 USD. So there's there's value here, and if you have more gas, if you're not if you're just holding Neo and you don't need to continue to um, earn more and more gas to to transact, then you can send this gas to an exchange and get the the payouts for it. So all right, so that claim that I just did um, just went through. We can refresh to the latest blockchain. Um, this this will show up update to um, point uh, thirty five in just a second. Um, so what can you do to to get it to an exchange? So if you click on gas on Coin Market Cap, and if you click on markets you can see the different locations where you can actually trade gas. So the biggest volume is on Binance and it's also available for trade on Poloniex. So these are the only two exchanges that you can use for gas. And if we go back to the coin market cap homepage and we go to NEO, you'll see that the exchanges where NEO is available differs from gas. So there are more exchanges where NEO is available. Binance is again the, the top exchange, but NEO is also available on Bitrix, Bitfinex, Cryptopia. Um, so the one thing that's missing here for NEO is Poloniex. So that is a difference between NEO and gas. So you cannot send your gas, or you cannot send your NEO to Poloniex, and you cannot send your gas to exchanges like Bitrix. You cannot, they're, they're not interchangeable. So you have to send it to the specific exchange where you can either trade NEO or trade gas. So Binance is the only one where you can do both. All right, so let's go to Poloniex and try to send some gas from the Neon wallet and uh, see if, if we, can, we can actually put that there and uh, exchange that. So we'll do a deposit in Poloniex. I'm already logged in. And so this is our screen with all the the different coins that, that we can use. Um, so if we scroll down, you will see that gas is um, available on Poloniex and we need to click on deposit. All right, so first warning that pops up is 
Do not send Neo to this address. Neo sent to Poloniex may be permanently lost. So, again, you cannot use your gas account on Poloniex for Neo. You can't exchange Neo on Poloniex. So, all right, got it. Show me the deposit address. All right, so this is the deposit address. I'm going to copy that. This is what we need to send our gas to Poloniex. So within the Neon wallet, all right, it is now updated. We now have that 0.35 in here, and my claim has dropped back down, and we're building up again. Okay, so let's actually send our um, gas to Poloniex now. So where to send the asset? So we're going to send... I'm going to paste that in here. And this is the important part, is that there is a button that you can toggle between gas and Neo. So if you want to send your Neo, so if I wanted to send some of my Neo, I would have this set to Neo. But now I'm sending gas, so I want to click this, have this say gas. All right, so let's say that we just want to send... 0.1 gas to Poloniex. I'm going to click send asset and confirm transaction. All right, transaction complete. Your balance will automatically update when the blockchain is updated. All right, so that is sent. Um, we should see that 0.1 come out of our uh, wallet when this updates, and we should be able to see this appear within Poloniex. One thing we can do to check the status of the transaction is use Neo Explorer. So this is neoexplorer.co. I'll put this link in the description. And we can enter our Neon Wallet address. Um, this is my public address. And we can search for that and look for transactions that are currently occurring. And you can see um, the one that I just sent um, well, first of all, you can see that my gas balance has updated. Um, I still, you still see those 30 NEO, but the gas is now 0.25 instead of 0.35. So that 0.1 looks like it has gone over. We can see this transaction um, that is uh, taking place. Uh, the 0.1 gas that we have sent over. Um, so there are eight confirmations on this already. And if we go back to um, the Neon Wallet, you can see that this is now reflected in the Neon Wallet as well. Um, so what we will need to see is this update in the Poloniex um, wallet so that it's sent to the exchange. So we're going to refresh this, see if it has shown up yet. So there will probably be a little delay for it to pop up on uh, Poloniex. Um, so we'll give this a minute and then we will um, see what we can do with it from there. Okay, so here we are at now 18 confirmations um, for the transaction. And now in Poloniex, you can see our 0.1 is available for gas. So we can go to the exchange and here... Um, I'm on the gas exchange already, so for Poloniex, you can see all the different exchanges that you can use. So this is gas to BTC, um, so if we wanted to um, sell our gas at this point, we can enter that in, we can sell. Um, so here are our sell buy orders for gas. Um, so this is... Um, two dollars and seventy cents or some small amount so I'm not going to, to exchange this for BTC um, but instead what I'm going to do is go back to deposit and withdrawal and I'm going to send my gas back to the neon wallet to show you how to do that so we are going to click on withdraw now and um, we need an address to send that to. So this is one part that differs about the Neon wallet, is that while we had to toggle between Neo and Gas to send the gas out, the same Neo address 
that we have here, our public address, you use that for both Neo and Gas to get them into the Neon wallet. So I'm copying my public address, and that is the address that I am going to paste into uh, Poloniex to send. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and send everything back and click withdraw. All right, I have to enter my two factor for Poloniex. So we will just enter that in quickly, submit and check email for further instructions. So I will confirm that and then we will wait for the um, transaction to take place and pop back into the Neon wallet. Okay, so I'm back on Neo Explorer. Let's again look for my public address for the Neon wallet and there is an update. So now my balance is back to 0.35 gas. Um, so you can see I now have a new transaction 45 seconds ago. Um, and this is going to be um, the 0.1 gas. So this is the update of me sending it back. And there it is in the Neon wallet. We are back to 0.35 gas. So that's the summary on how to send gas in and out of your Neon wallet, send it to an exchange. This with the example of Poloniex. You can also use Binance for this. I hope this was helpful, guys. Answer some of your questions about what to do with gas, how to actually use it if you want to send it to an exchange. I hope this was helpful to you guys. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Also, um, just an update on my 100 subscriber giveaway that is still open. I will put a link, um, an icon up above that you can click on if you'd still like to enter that. And until next time, thanks for watching Crypto Command.